which set of bands are ready to go get sharpened. Steve added numbers, so that way the Sawyer can say which uh, numbered set are ready to be sharpened. We're starting to use Overland Westmore for shipping, so Steve programmed uh, the shipping uh, information into the Stream Deck, which saves about 30 seconds. Aaron noticed there was a saw in the needs repair area for quite some time. So he went ahead and took a look and got it all working well. So now we have a, a couple extra saws if anyone needs them. Randy doing some great TLC on the tidy tank. Aaron noticed the bandsaw upstairs was out of adjustment and not cutting well. Uh, and upon further inspection, he noticed that a lot of the bearings were actually seized up. Uh, so he's adjusted it all and replaced the bearings, and it's good to go, cutting beautifully. Nice job. The forklift was getting pretty slippery, so I added some grip tape, and it turns out uh, three people came out up to me, and they have ideas for improvements that involve grip tape, so I'll go get some more. Aaron spent a long time looking for the snap ring pliers, so he's made a standardized spot for them, and the extra snap rings are still uh, right here. Nice job. Steve's made some standardized documentation for shipping in case he's not uh, in the office. And then he's also made a, a standardized spot uh, with directions for uh, external shipping orders. Poke Yoke from Jody, mistake proofing this. There's a bypass valve um, that was getting left open, which would bypass the air dryer. So we were ending up with water in our lines, which is not good. So instead of just putting a label maker on there, he's actually just removed the handle. Um, so we can just add that back on if we did need to bypass it, but there's no reason to. Stu has taken total ownership of the air compressor, and holy smokes, it was uh, nasty. He got it all cleaned up, looking premium, really nice. This improvement is from Dave. Uh, so whenever we need to look up any parts for the mill, uh, we have to go all the way over, find the manual, search through, look up the part number. So instead, uh, he made up a list and Steve uh, typed it up. Uh, so right where we're asking the question, we have all the part numbers uh, needed and in the office as well. So this saves a ton of time. Nice job. Jadoka from Yardley, stopping and fixing. He noticed these uh, older sawhorses were starting to leave some defects on the lumber. So he replaced the 2 by 4 tops. Nice job. It makes sense that we end up with lifts of wood in this location, but then it's uh, pretty narrow to walk past the hand truck. Uh, so I just moved it. There we go. Bit of a Kaizen event in the office space. So we're moving the administration and putting all the sales in one office. So we cut out the wall. Awesome. There's sometimes a, a big dustpan that hangs on the screw, which is a great spot for it. But how would you know to put it back there? There we go, standardization. More maintenance cards going up on the Kimbichi by board. Uh, visual indicators when to do maintenance. Luke noticed this clean out. We're actually always ending up cleaning out. It always gets filled with sawdust. So he's made a nice little lid over it so we no longer have to clean the sawdust out. Luke made this great air filter in the carpentry bay. Uh, and it's been working really well. It cuts down a ton of uh, just the fine uh, floating dust that was in the carpenter shop. Nice job. Steve made our out-of-office sign uh, double-sided, which is a good improvement. It just looks a little sloppy because the magnet doesn't work uh, both ways. So I, I laminated that, and now it's uh, nice and tidy. Uh, 